All right, so in this video, I wanted to show this really cool project that I worked on, and uh, it came out really nice. Now, what you're looking at is a blower motor connected to some uh, drainage pipe there, some flexible drainage pipe. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom in on the motor. Uh, I picked up this motor from a home improvement center, and this thing is a bathroom ceiling fan uh, it's pretty much an exhaust fan for bathrooms uh, I went ahead and I mounted all that up uh, as close as I could to the wall there that actually has a connector or four inch uh, connection pipe hanging out and that is my exhaust right there can't really see it all that good but it's right there um, that goes straight out the shop um, this black pipe here is connected to the blower motor and that's my uh, evacuation pipe there so that's pretty much my homemade uh, fume or welding fume extractor um, I guess I wouldn't say welding fume but I mean just fume extractor I'll be using this when it comes for soldering also when I'm welding uh, the other night, actually, got pretty sick. Me and my girlfriend both together were here. She was actually shooting some video for me, and I was actually doing some welding with the uh, 211 spool gun, and that thing uses straight argon for aluminum welding, so there's just too much argon that concentrated here in the shop, and we got really sleepy and sick. My lungs were giving out on me, and felt like I was dying. I couldn't even take half a breath because it would just hurt just to breathe so the argon ended up going into my lungs and was slowly asphyxiating me um, but I ended up going outside opening my uh, oxygen tank and uh, me and my girlfriend ended up pretty much inhaling straight O2 from the welding cylinder just to get that argon out it took a while but finally got it out and expelled it and, uh, it was amazing because after all that and I was able to take deep breaths again all the chest pains went away so that was pretty bad um, actually my girlfriend went to sleep she was going to sleep and I had to wake her up to go and uh, inhale some oxygen so that's the whole reason for this fume extractor and this thing is awesome though I mean it I have it hanging there on the roof it, it's out of the way and when I bring this thing down it's flexible that thing I can flex it in any direction that I want so this thing works just like a professional uh, fume extractor arm I guess you'd say uh, where you can bend it in any uh, direction in any position and that's the same thing I can do with this the, the rigid it's rigid plastic so it allows me to move it anywhere I want um, also um, all I gotta do is just hang it straight down work near the near that right there that's actually an old old uh, coffee can aluminum aluminum type coffee can or actually it might be like a lard type of can or something but uh, I ended up putting the hose through there duct taping it I did burn some some cardboard and plastic and stuff just to try it out and yeah it does a hell of a job it's not loud at all um, later on, I'll probably put a po more powerful motor on this, but I mean for now this will do it and The whole setup cost me literally like under $25 or $25 It was like 13 something for the blower like $14 after tax and then uh, $10 for this stuff for the hose actually and Then the duct tape so around $26 I guess so now, um, hopefully this will prevent me from getting sick. I mean, I always like to weld outside anyways, but can't be TIG welding outside, uh, if it, especially if it's windy, and then the argon just gets blown away and forget it. It just ruins your weld and stuff like that. So the TIG welding is done indoors. Um, stick welding, I never try not to ever like do that inside, but if I do, at least now I have a extractor but uh anyways that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one